Uh, it certainly isn't just a second later. Uh, let's spread around Joe and see what I can do to help him. Yeah, there's the invisible Bowmobile. I was curious about that. I clicked on it specifically. Should have walked into it. Like the neon boats. I hope no one. All right, get into there. Find Patrick. So what he's doing. What is that? That guy must have a brave dentist. Hello, big guy. Hello, little guy. Nice place you have here. It's real, uh, rustic. Yes, I seem to have a real knack for feng shui. Mm, well, I can't eat raw fish. It gives me a stomach ache. Thanks anyway. Well, yeah, anyway, it's it's amazing how some old cast in there could really tie a place together. It's a good thing. One tall, frosty mug of kelpsy, please. Sorry, ain't got no kelpsy left. We all tapped out on account of a cola drinking contest these two guys had in here a little while oh, ago. Oh, no. They polished off the whole kit. All we got left is diet, caffeine-free coral cola with a lemon twist. Yeah. Well, then, I guess that's going to have to do. That'd be a doubt. You got a dollar? No, but I know where there's a whole treasure chest full of bus tokens. Sorry, kid. That don't fly in here. Pay up or pack up. That's our motto. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me more about that cola drinking contest you had in here? Yeah, sure. They was playing Belcharama. The players each drink as much cola as they can. Then they see who could out-burp each other. The guy in here earlier was flat out the best burper I have ever seen. That mermaid fella didn't stand a chance. Wow. He was that good, huh? It was beautiful. I took a picture. It's up on the wall over by the bathroom. That guy's welcome in my place anytime, even if he is a little slow. And pink. Pink, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, we already know it Sir, is. My friend Mermaid Man is in the parking lot outside, and he could sure use your help getting into his boatmobile. He's not feeling well from drinking all that Kelpsy. Ah, I better help him out. I don't want him scaring off my customers. Say, can you watch the bar for a few minutes? Sure, I'm a trained professional. Head cook at the Krusty Krab. Great, I'll be back. <laughs> I always want to say that. Uh, since you helping me out, feel free to help yourself to as much of that Diet Cola as you like. It doesn't sell very well anyway. Oh, uh, I was just gonna steal it anyhow, but... Say, that looks just like Patrick. Plankton looks really big in this picture. Plankton looks really big in this picture. Why is he blinking? Hey, it's alive! Looks like he has an eye infection. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That guy looks like Ralph. Keep on rolling, baby. Looks like good, clean fun. Do the kelp do. Do you have any threes? Do go fish, my favorite fight club. Looks like fun. All right. That seemed utterly pointless, except for the fact I got a cup. So this is out, That huh? keg is empty. Guess they used it for the burping contest. That keg is empty. Why would I want to put that there? Because then you'll think it's kelp soda. What? Oh, whatever. And then the restaurant? This door seems to be locked. All right, well, we did that now. Did they leave? Yeah, they're gone. Probably back to retirement center. I don't know a secret lair. Either way, here, save before it crashes again. And let's give this guy his, well, not Kelpsy Cola. Here you go, mister. One, the uh, Kelpsy. All right. Whoa, that was the best Kelpsy I ever had. Thanks, SpongeBob. So, now can I borrow your tools? Sure, no problemo. Just remember to treat them with respect. After all, they're people too. Okay. 
Stop dancing. I just want to pick up the tools. Could you at least pick up the tools and then dance? Jeez. Look, I got tools. Right. With this toolbox, I might be able to pass as Jojo. Kalabunga, ma'am. I'm like totally finito with the antenna. Great. It's about time. Go settle up with Gary. He's upstairs in the newsroom. Cool. Later, dudette. I'll see as that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's go in the wherever this is. Buttons. So many buttons. They're all making a neat noise. I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to do that. I do. Oh, hey. Hi, Plankton. What are you doing here? I'm trying to film a commercial for the Chum Bucket. I rode all the way out to this hole in the wall, and these louts can't even find me a cameraman. Aw, that's too bad. I'd offer to help out, but I don't know if Mr. Krabs would approve of me aiding the competition. Did I say commercial? Um, I meant public service announcement. Yes, I'm filming a public service announcement. Kids stay <laughs> in school and all that. It's for the children. Oh, for the children. Well, why didn't you say? Are you putting me on? Absolutely not. I'm trying to get the kiddies to see the value of a college education. It's my duty as a role model. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little extra something special for you too, my boy. Mm -hmm. Public service announcement. Little extra something special. Okay, you got a deal. What do I have to do? It's easy. I just need you to go in the next room and find the camera controls. Then just point the camera at me and start recording. Sounds easy enough. Okay, Plankton, I'm on it. Anything for the children. Yes, the children. <laughs> Poor sap. What was that? Uh, more tap. Yes, more tap. It's a lost art, tap dancing. We need to see more of it immediately. You know, I think you're right. So, Plankton, what do you think of Rock Bottom? Invertebrates? All of them! Can't stand the place, but at least there aren't many whales around. Oh, but I love whales! The way they glide gracefully through the water, leisurely gulping down millions of plankton... <laughs> yes, thank you. Gotta go, Plankton. See you later. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my diploma? I'll see you some other time, thanks. Bye! So, do I... Am I supposed to... Foil him, or if you notice I'm jumping the last scene, it's because I, so I skipped some dialogue and didn't want to break the flow. And there we are. There, the camera is focused right on him. Okay, Plankton, action! Hi, this is Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket and all-around swell guy. A lot of you may have noticed the Chum Bucket's rather numerous appearances on TV news programs recently. Not to mention the various headlines we've made in most local newspapers during the past few weeks. Well, I come to you tonight to set things straight once and for all. I'm innocent! I would never dream of doing the things those bottom-feeding reporters accuse me of. Those pictures were clearly faked. Rest assured that the Chum Bucket uses only the freshest ingredients. That is all. Eat at the Chum Bucket. Thank you, and good evening. That's a terrible commercial. Alright, I did it. Now what? Did I get anything from it? Hey, Plankton. That didn't sound like a public service announcement. Subtext! I was practically begging the children to stay in school! Well, if I didn't notice it, then probably most children won't either. Whose fault is that? Certainly not mine! I'm making public service announcements! Oh, and by the way, here's that little something extra. Ooh, thanks! Well, I must take my leave. I'd like to stick around and jabber, but lo! The day wears on and the chum bucket needs me. Okay. Bye, Plankton. See you around. Oh, uh, I might be able to view those under the movies. Look into that. Problem is, it might be clips from episodes. I probably don't want to see those. Not on YouTube. Oh, jeez. Um... Yeah, I feel the same way, buddy. 
Okay, I guess I'm gonna talk to Gary. Hey, Gary. Wow. Aren't you Gary Gulper, the weatherman? Why, yes I am. Aren't you lucky? Well, yeah. And that's not all. Really? Really. In addition to the pleasure of meeting me, I happen to be in an autograph signing mood. Will your luck never end? Oh, I hope not. But, uh, I didn't want an autograph. I wanted to ask you something. What? No autograph? Oh, well, you must already have several. What did you want to talk to me about? Can you tell me when this weather is going to clear up? I need to get out of this place as soon as possible. Wow, this really is your lucky day. Here at WSEA, we have just finished building a weather controlling thingamajig. Once we unveil it, the weather will always be clear in rock bottom. Ooh. Indeed. Think of the increased tourism and the increased fame for yours truly. Not that I am not famous already, but then <laughs> you can never be too famous. I'm not sure I understand. If you built a device that controls the weather, well, then what does the station need you for? Well, uh, well, um, you see, uh, uh-oh. Why is there a guy out back working on the antenna? Ugh, don't get me started. The Mega Screen 2000 has been acting up lately. It maps the weather around rock bottom with amazing accuracy. And yet, in the past few weeks, it's been giving us some very strained readings. It shows a zone of perfect weather that never changes. Never a drop of rain falls there. This is obviously impossible. It has to be broken. Are you sure it's broken? No. In fact, the repairman out there claims there's nothing wrong with any of our equipment. But what else could it be? Maybe it really is a perfect weather zone. Please. No, really. Can you show me where it is? It's up on the Mega Screen 2000. Take a look. It won't do you any good. It's just a glitch. I'm gonna check it out anyway, but thanks. Gary. What a great name. I have a pet snail named Gary. How nice for you. Do you know why the weather here has been so bad lately? Well, there are people who claim that a wizard named Marlin is behind it, but please. We are all adults here. Well, I am at least. Wizards? I don't think so. Wow! A wizard? Why would he churn up all this bad weather? If he existed, I mean. I don't know. Maybe he is threatened by our mighty weather-controlling thingamajig. I gotta go. It was nice meeting you. Yes, it was, wasn't it? All right. Check this A out. Oh, look. The zone um, of perfect weather seems to be centered around this cave. That looks like a wizard hat. Or Marlin probably is. Hey, can I just use the exit? Out of here. Yep. All right. No, no reason to go anywhere. Wait, is it parking lot? Oh, that's just, that's just here. Wow, the weather really is clear here. Something's up and I'm gonna find out what. Elsa said. That's great. Wonderful. Well, that, that area certainly had a purpose. That's a chimney. That's a chimney. Sounds like most of my commentary. Ooh, slats. Lots of slats. Wow! I've always wanted to try one of these. I think I just had to pull the handle. All right! Uh... Oh. Okay. Hmm, those arrows must mean something, but what? Eh, uh, it's gonna be a maze. Dry clean only. What a hassle. Man, that thing is huge! Yeah, I guess just go to the curtain and whatever left up and right oh, means. It's dark and I'm in a Zelda. Wow. 
Wow, this looks like some kind of wizard lair. I bet that Marlin up those stairs. Hey, what's Patrick doing here? I was about to ask that. Pushing. A blue potion of healing. <laughs> Quick, where's my 20-sided die? It's like I'm more Zelda, but whatever. There's no lamp on that nightstand. Tidal pools and how to survive them. Sounds like a great read. Patrick. Patrick. Speaking like a stone, as opposed to under a stone, which would be difficult. <laughs> what was that? Remember, kids, don't play with fire. All right, let's go talk to Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, uh, he is a marlin. That might be a moon, but it sure looks like a potato. That looks like some sort of land monkey skull. <laughs> Hi, are you Marlin the wizard? I don't know. Are you Marlin the wizard? Huh? If I were, why would I ask you if you were Marlin? Because, my dear Marlin, it would be an excellent tactic to confuse me. Very clever, that. But I'm not Marlin! You are! Aha, uh -huh. so you are not Marlin. Well, I must admit, that does increase the odds of me being Marlin. What about that large pink boy sleeping in my hammock? Is he Marlin? No, that's my friend, Patrick. Well, if one of us must be Marlin, I guess it might as well be me. I can't say I'm too happy about it, though. Marlin's a grouch. Why are you grouchy? Two words. Gary Gulper. That's odd. He seems like such a genuine guy. Don't let him fool you. He's the character behind that insidious weather-controlling thingamajig. Weather-controlling hoochamawatchet? It's a device that controls the weather. Uh, sounds cool. No. Controlling the weather is my job. But those meddlers are in for a surprise. I magically sealed the vault door to the device. Now they can't even get to it. That'll teach them. Do you have anything to do with all this bad weather no, around here? Absolutely. I still reign over the rain. <laughs> At least for the time being. So why are you clouding up rock bottom? To teach Gary Gulper a lesson. He's trying to steal my job. How? By building that weather controlling thingamajig. Controlling the weather is my domain. I'm not giving it up without a fight. But I need to get out of here. And the buses won't run until the weather clears up. Well, the weather won't clear up until that weather controlling device is destroyed. Maybe I can help you. Anything to get the weather back to normal here. Would you really help me? No, of course. No problem. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll give you a magic wand that will let you into the weather control vault in WSEA. You go in there and sabotage the machine, and then I'll clear the weather right up. Piece of cake. I'd go myself, but that secretary won't even let me in the lobby anymore. But how do I sabotage the machine? Something about you tells me you're pretty good at breaking things. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Right! Is he referring to Spongebob or me? So, where's the magic wand? Oh, here you go. Don't lose it. It's very valuable. Okay, thanks, Marlin! <laughs> no, thank you! You've saved me from the unemployment line. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose it immediately after using it. That's how these things tend to go. Alright, see you, Patrick. Good luck, I guess. Ow, what am I doing? All right, let's sabotage the machine. Oh, looks like one of those fairy wands from Fairly Odd Parents. Abracadabra, Alakazur. My name is SpongeBob. Now open that door. Wow, this must be the weather controlling thingamajig. Maybe if I just fiddle with the controls. Probably. That's generally what I do. Um. Okay, Patrick. Now be real careful. Wait, where Patrick come from now? What? I'm supposed to talk to him? 
We better get to the bus. down that way across from the diner. Oh boy, I'm starving. <laughs> I didn't see any food over there. No, you moron, that way? Hmm. That's funny. To square one, chapter three. All right, well, I guess we're back in the bikini bottle. Where are we? Yep, well, kind of different section of bikini bottom, though. It's a traffic light, it's a trap, it's a trap. Doesn't seem that much are purpose. For people who feel like eating outside. This is a diner. And that's a as I say. I assume there's nothing I could well, screw I over later on the way. Or it's gonna be like a tape in every level, that's the idea. Life preservers always make me nervous. You never know when one might drag you to the surface. Mighty big chimney! Well, Patrick, looks like we're just not meant to get to Neptune's paradise. Maybe we should just go home. What? Who are you? What have you done with SpongeBob? I'm Joe. What are you talking about, Patrick? SpongeBob, I know, is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit, never! You're right, Patrick. Why should I let these little setbacks get me down? Together, we can accomplish anything! Exactly! And I'll help you think of something as soon as I finish my sandwich. Oh, hey! That reminds me. I saw Sandy working on a rocket last week. Maybe we could use it to get to Neptune's paradise. That could be fun. That's a great idea! Let's get over there and ask her! Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me finish this sandwich, and I'll catch up with you. But we're a team! Partners! Deodorant in the face of indisposable odds, am I right? Pepperoni! Spicy. Okay. How did well, Patrick get that phrase correct that Spongebob uh -huh. couldn't? Oh, oh yeah, anything you say, Spongebob. Uh, oh, hi. Hey, don't touch that. It doesn't belong to you. The last of my friend, and she probably wants it. Because, you know, that's how this works. Hi! Nice place you got here. Yep, I've been here coming up on 25 years. Best grilled cheese in town. You must be old. You're a charmer, aren't you? Say, do you happen to know a land squirrel named Sandy? Know her? I just got off the phone with her. She ordered her usual. Really? Well, I have to talk to her. You want me to deliver it for you? Ah, that's so sweet. Thank you, fella. She's at Jellyfish Fields. She says she needed a recharge and a slab of baby back ribs would do the trick. Ugh, Texas food. Well, here's the order. You be sure to get it to her right quick. I don't want any complaints. You might have a future here. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything to worry about. SpongeBob is on the case. <laughs> Take the lunch. Take the lunch, SpongeBob. Hi, I've returned. 
Good to see you again. Well, I should be come back. All right, what we got over here? Anything good? Run, SpongeBob. Ooh, it has all the hits. I'm ready. Yeah. What's the point of this? Yippee! This grouping is terrible. Yippee! 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 I was hoping that. I'm ready! I'm ready! That doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. All right, where are jellyfish fields over there? Look at all these jellyfish. Oh you god! Try not to get stung by any of them. Okay, it's up. It's up buzzing. Good. I don't see anything to click on over here, so let's go straight there. Take like that. Anyone seem to have it out for me. Hey, there's Sandy. All right, have a sandwich. That sandwich. Hey, Sandy. Here's your uh, baby Hi, back yuck. ribs. Thanks, partner. I'll go get working on that rocket. Meet me there once you get your water helmet. I feel like there's a lot more conversation, but... Okay. Uh, well, it's just in the beam cup. Yeah, just two bikini bottom. All right, going home, apparently. <gasps> I could bud. I could bug Squidward. I'm gonna go bug Squidward. Yeah, Squidward. Yeah, Squidward. Oh, who's that on the TV? Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week, we got a whole bunch of specials that will blow your mind, man. Really choice stuff. I'm serious. Sniff this. We just got these babies in this week. Dream glasses. All you need to do is be near a buddy of yours who's sleeping, put on these glasses, and you'll actually enter your buddy's dream. Man, you could really freak him or her out. I mean, like, whoa. And this week only, dream glasses are free. You heard it right. I'm nuts. Skiddly bop, look at these. Skull candles. They're just like a regular candle, except they're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. So come on down to Sardine Sundries, 174 Barnacle Road. We never close because time is an illusion. Dig it. Gee, I wonder if those sunglasses are going to come important. Well, in any case, I'll be back. If you want to see me be playing more of this, let me know. Otherwise, I'm moving on to other things for a while. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye.